Off the coast of North Carolina, surfer John Cheshire was struck by what he believes to be a Portuguese man of war and is struggling to get to shore. There was such a haze. I was so dazed, so confused, agonizing pain. And then also compounded by the fact that I'm 100 yards offshore and I got to get back into shore. I had so much adrenaline in me. That with the pain, just my body was in full survival mode. A man of war sting of an adult man basically is, is going to be sight pain, a little bit of inflammation, and that's about it. But for him, an adult man, to feel this degree of pain, danger of blacking out, pain over 10, all of these things, it doesn't really seem consistent with the man of war. All I was looking to do is just scratch into a wave, just white water, just to push me into the shore. I finally got one. I got in, and at that point, I roll off my surfboard, and I'm like, thank goodness I'm on land. At that point in time, I knew that something wasn't right mechanically inside with the way my body was functioning. And all I could think about was I got to exfoliate this. You know, so I start taking sand and I start scrubbing my body down just to try to get the tentacles out. So it makes perfect sense that his first instinct is to exfoliate or, you know, remove that surface of the skin, something that's causing him pain. But unfortunately, in this instance, it's completely counterproductive because when these tentacles lash across one's skin, the tentacles are lined with thousands of these tiny pneumatocysts capable of injecting the venom. But when the tentacle leaves the body, many of these pneumatocysts are left on their skin. They haven't yet discharged. So they're like so many ticking time bombs. 